There is no doubt that water is the most fundamental, essential, and rather a critical element to our life. In alternative health, the concept of alkaline water is getting more and more popular these days. There are water machines, there are alkaline filters, electric water ionizers, even some bottled waters are claiming to be alkaline water. What does the term alkaline water really mean? This has been the core of my research for the last few years done with Aquavita as a certified water specialist and I'll share some of this information with you. Nature in a few very specific areas, gives us the kind of living water through friction and ferocious movements, contact with rock elements and metallic elements, producing the kind of water known as healing water or holy water. There's a question here. What are the characteristics of these waters in nature? These waters are all alkaline water not the high pH water only, that I'll discuss it later on. However, they have antioxidant properties, being microclustered. They also have the active molecular hydrogen. There's a very important question here. Is it possible to simulate or recreate this perfection that nature gives us so generously? I also challenge your mind with the following questions. Number one, what are different methods of creating alkaline water? Number two, is high pH actually alkaline water? Number three, what is the concept of alkaline without alkalinity? Number four, what is the concept of hydration and how important is it for our body? Number five, what is the negatively charged water and what can it do for our health? And six, what is the process of oxidation and how important is it for our body? In upcoming videos, I would discuss all these terms and questions one by one in order to have a better understanding of this life element from the health perspective. Thank you. In this part, we discuss filtered water and pure water. As I mentioned in my intro video, we are trying to understand the characteristics of those special waters in nature and possibly be able to simulate it. First and foremost, those waters are all pure and clean. Therefore, we need to make sure our drinking water is contaminant free. Water contaminants are in different categories. Microorganisms, organic chemicals, inorganic chemicals, disinfectants and disinfection byproducts, heavy metals, radioactive contaminants. Depending where the source water is, either from the surface or from underground, or even the combination of the two, the contaminants in waters are completely different. The concept of filtration and purification are dealing with different contaminants in different categories. We've all seen different water filters on the market, usually starting from a couple of hundred dollars all the way up to about a few thousand dollars. What are the differences? Well, what we should really know that there is a big difference between filtration and purification. If you're talking about decreasing some specific contaminants in water, decreasing, not removing, such as free chlorine, for example, or odor or taste, then a couple of filters might be able to do something. But if you're talking about other contaminants, such as
microorganisms or herbicides or pesticides or PCBs, radioactive contaminants or residual pharmaceuticals, sodium fluoride and fluoride, then we need a purifier. A purification system, depending on the technology, is designed to almost remove all different contaminants from water. Unlike any other systems on the market, the AquaVita Ultimate Alkaline Water System is the combination of a complete water purifier before even starting the process of recreating or simulating the nature's special water, including the benefits such as alkalinity and microclustering and hydrogen rich and antioxidant, that I would go through them one by one in other upcoming videos through testing and experiments. Thank you. In this part, we'll discuss high pH versus alkaline water. Some people believe that the alkaline water is completely a hype, and what we need to drink is purified water, which is true to some extent. Some other people only focus on the water being so-called alkaline, and do not even consider water contaminants in different categories, this confusion is coming from the understanding of the actual alkaline water and how it can be made. In water treatment industry, there is a difference between pH and alkalinity. Many different chemicals, compounds, or even minerals can produce the high pH water, like many different alkaline sticks or alkaline filters on the market. Electricity and electrolysis, known as ionization, can also produce the high pH water in one side with the accumulation of the OH- and low pH water on the other side with the accumulation of H+, like many different water ionizers on the market. It all comes to the fact that the high pH water is not necessarily alkaline water. In other words, Artificially made alkaline water is not necessarily natural alkaline water. That's why we are talking about alkaline without alkalinity. In fact, if we are referring to the special water in nature, we need to realize that these waters are created with magnetic field and infrared to get the negative charge, then absorption, not addition, of alkaline ion balancing that charge naturally through friction and ferocious movements, contact with rock elements and metallic elements, producing the natural alkaline water with all health benefits, including antioxidant properties, microclustering, and being hydrogen rich. In this process, there is no electricity, electrolysis, or any chemicals involved. And of course, the water is pure and clean in the first place. Aquavira Ultimate System not only purifies water, but it has all these health benefits that will be demonstrated each separately in other upcoming videos. Thank you. Having talked about the concept of purification in video number two and a better understanding of the natural alkaline water that I explained in video number three, now I'll discuss and demonstrate four key properties of water. The first one is the pH regulation. pH stands for potential of hydrogen. The scale is from 0 to 14. 7 being neutral. Anything under 7 is considered to be acidic and anything over 7 is considered to be alkaline. Your blood pH is between 7.35 and 7.45 so it is slightly alkaline. 
our body constantly all day long is doing two things temperature regulation and pH regulation let me give you an example your body's temperature is 37 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit when you have a mouthful of ice then your body has to do something immediately in order to regulate the temperature making sure your body's temperature doesn't drop too low the pH regulation is just as important the majority of what we eat or drink is all acidic like soda, coffee, cookies, chocolates, meat or even dairy products when you put something in your mouth that has a 5 pH for instance how does your body bring it from 5 up to about 7.4 that your blood needs? Well, it kind of robs itself. It takes calcium from your bones and joints. It takes magnesium from your muscles. This is called our buffering system. That's why we sometimes feel so tired or even crash at the middle of the day. Because our energy pool is mainly spent neutralizing this acidity or regulating the pH. By drinking natural alkaline water, we are trying to ease off the pressure on different organs in our body, doing this pH regulation faster and easier. Let's do the experiment. I've chosen uh, sparkling water to uh, get it started with. Pop for soda. Plus uh, two popular kind of bottled water on the market. First one and the second one. This is the tap water directly from the tap. And of course, this is Aqua Vita natural alkaline water from the ultimate system. Using the pH reagent or um, pH drop test, I'll check the pH, adding a couple of drops to each. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And finally, one, two, three. As seen on the pH color indicator chart, the more greenish and yellowish kind of color shows the acidity and the more blue and purple color shows alkalinity in the water. These two are about 3-4 in pH. These two are about 5-6. Tap water is regulated to be around 7 and aqua vita water is around 9.5 now we want to see how aqua vita water is able to neutralize other waters first one is a tap water this is how it is neutralized the sony this is also neutralized easily and this one as well Basically, the same amount of water is able to neutralize these, but on these two, that's a little bit different story here. And as you see, these are not neutralized and it's still very much acidic. In fact, we need about 22 times of this water to be able to neutralize those. That's why those are not recommended to drink at all. I'll demonstrate the antioxidant properties in the next video. Thank you.
Now we need to know about oxidation and oxidation reduction. Oxidation is the reaction of oxygen with other substances causing the loss of electrons. In other words, oxidizing agent takes electrons from that other substance. I don't want to get that technical here. Let me give you an example. If you cut an apple and have it exposed to air, what happens? It turns brown or gets degenerated. That's oxidation. If you put a piece of metal in a glass of water, it turns to rust. That's oxidation. Biological oxidation is the gradual aging process in the body. Oxidation basically occurs all over the body at the cell level. In fact, oxygen reacts within the body and produces byproducts called free radicals, which are missing electrons. Therefore, they steal it from our healthy cells. Remember, we definitely do not want to accelerate this process, which is naturally happening. We really want to control it. This is an ORP meter, which stands for Oxidation Reduction Potential Meter, measured in millivolts. This device is used in wine industry checking if the fermentation process is completed. Also used in swimming pools, making sure if the water is oxidizing enough mold in bacteria upon adding disinfectants to the water. We also use it here to demonstrate if the water is positively or negatively charged. Anything positively charged is oxidizing or aging. And anything negatively charged is anti-oxidizing or anti-aging. Let's measure these waters in the oxidation scale. The first one is the sparkling water, 385, 86. The next one is the pop or soda, well, that's 400. And 10 millivolts oxidizing. The next one is the bottled water, well, which might be slightly less oxidizing, which is 365, 66. And the next one, almost the same, you're experiencing almost the same number on different bottled waters, and tap water, well, so it is around 500 and 20, 530, 32, 33, and still 20, and aqua vita, antioxidant water, look at the number, and look at the negative symbol. This is the negatively charged water. Minus 375, 73, 72. Again, I'll go back to the tap water. So that negative symbol is gone. And then we're going back to the oxidizing number. Around 470, 480. And climbing around 500. Again, go back to aqua vita water. This is how fast it goes back to the antioxidant negative number, which is minus 37271. The third property that I explained is macroclustered water. What does macroclustering mean? Chemical composition of the water always remains unchanged. Molecular structure of water is much more important. Water molecules are joined together into groups or clusters. Macroclustering means a smaller number of water molecules per cluster. Well, what is this good for? There are two very significant concepts here. Number one, hydration. When we are born, we are 80% water. When we die, we are 55% water. Do we shrink as we get older or do we get dehydrated? 
We've always been told to drink more water, but we've never been told to check if this water is really absorbed. Microclustering is the process of making the water molecules very small, which is much easier to penetrate into the cell and hydrate the cell. Number two, detoxification. Our body is designed to process toxins and water is mainly responsible to eliminate toxins. How about if water clusters are not small enough to get into our cells and tissues and flush out toxins? Smaller clusters help the water to be absorbed more efficiently at the cell level for actual hydration and detoxification both at the same time. Let's do the experiment. There are many different ways this can be demonstrated. I've chosen two standard uh, green tea bags. Put one here and one there. This is the normal tap water, room temperature, and this is the Aqua Vita macro clustered water directly from the ultimate system. So pour this with the tap water. And this one with the Aqua Vita micro clustered water. I'll dip them both a little bit. See what happens. So this one starts to shed its color and becomes yellow. Now I'll use the same tea bag with tap water. And again with Aqua Vita water, which instantly becomes yellow. And again, tap water. Almost nothing happens. And again, aqua vita water. So I guess we can go on and on making the green tea without having to have hot water. This actually represents what is happening inside our body drinking the micro clustered water over other waters. And it not only does it penetrate faster, it eliminates all toxins throughout the body. This is actually one of the main features of the ultimate system producing the macro clustered water with all its health benefits. I'll discuss hydrogen water in the next video. Thank you. Finally, it's time to talk about hydrogen water. It is the presence of active molecular hydrogen or H2 in water as a therapeutic medical gas. Remember, this is separate than hydrogen bonded with oxygen that creates the water in the first place. Hydrogen is the natural element that has been shown to have medicinal effect. Research shows H2 to have therapeutic potential for many human disease models and virtually for every human organ. It has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory effect. It protects the brain, helps diabetes, enhances energy, boosts skin health, and so many other benefits. I ask you to do a little bit of research on this to be amazed how beneficial hydrogen water can be. For instance, hydrogen water reduces oxidative stress in the brain as seen in extensive research featured in the U.S. National Library of Medicine or National Institute of Health. 
you can find over 40 citations on hydrogen water's vast health benefits in the description below. Let's measure how hydrogen rich the Aquavira water is. This device is called dissolved hydrogen meter and I use it to measure the number of dissolved hydrogen in water. This is measured in parts per billion or ppb. This is the tap water, the normal tap water. Turn it on. <coughs> we'll give it a couple of seconds. Well, the number is zero. Obviously, no water has extra molecular hydrogen in it. And I'll check the aqua vita hydrogen water. Give it a couple of seconds. And then it starts. Yeah. Hope you can see the number. So this is 100, 120, 60, 70, 80. It's 200 now. And it is just going up. Again, this is measuring the number of dissolved hydrogen in water in PPB. And obviously, that's the only water that can give you the extra hydrogen. Remember, this water is directly from the ultimate system. There is no electricity involved. There is no electrolysis involved. There is no chemical involved. And this is done 100% naturally. And this water, as you've seen already, this is the alkaline water, which has antioxidant properties. It is a micro-clustered water. And now you can see this is the hydrogen-rich water, which are all combined to give the water the maximum health benefits. This number even can go up to about five, six, seven hundred ppb. Stay healthy.